Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Candle House Collective. We at Site42 are excited to team up with CHC again to introduce you to another one of their unique theater experiences. On with the video! Hey there, Site42 staff, Dr. Theron Sherman here, and we are getting ready for Episode 3 of Dr. Sherman vs. Lennox Mutual. If you haven't seen Episodes 1 and 2, I HIGHLY suggest that you go to the link in the description and watch the playlist, because you will not know what the hell's going on unless you have context for this. I will sit here and menacingly stare at you while spinning my pen until you return. Go on, scuttle off now. Well, that was faster than I expected. Good work. So, tonight's plan for call number three is very simple. We are trying to make an appointment. Last time we covered the extensions, we did a good job. Now there is nothing else but to make this happen. And we know that there's a couple things we can do to put the odds in our favor. Number one, lock the door. It's done. Number two, turn out the lights. Wink. Done. Number three, find out the hours of operation. Because previously, we know that they were closed during our first call, but we don't know when they're open. We need to figure that out. But the main goal for tonight is to get directions to the meeting point. Because we had done the hours of operation once, we have not gone after direction. So we are going to figure that out first, and then if we have time, we'll go back to the hours of operation. Set on the plan? Alright, strap yourselves in, let's get down to business. And I think it's time for the call to come in. There we go. Maybe I should go on vacation after this. Ahoy, ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. Please confirm your name. Sherman Christensen. Hi, Sherman. Please state your data... I'm sorry. Please state your postal code. Correct. Thank you, Sherman. It's good to hear your voice. Now, if you experience a life-threatening emergency during this call, please hang up and dial 911. If at any point during this call you experience a psychological emergency, please notify me and stay on the line. Calls are recorded for training purposes, legal indemnification, and quality assurance. Knowing this, Sherman, do you consent to this phone call? Yes. Welcome to Lennox Mutual. Please hold. Thank you for holding. The sound you just heard was the start of your timer. You have 20 minutes remaining on this call. Spend your time wisely. Now, please listen carefully to our main menu. If you know your party's extension, or if you already know what menu option you want, you can choose either at any time. Our current options follow. Would you like to hear our hours of operation? Get directions to our location. Make an appointment. Explore our policies. Receive a promotional offer. Review our documentation, or learn more about Lennox Mutual. Get directions to your location. Okay, please hold. If I remember correctly, it was a lead door painted gold, and there was music and darkness on the other side. That's correct. It closed behind you. Then, a click. Locked. No going back. The torch you picked up has changed. The switch is gone. Now, it's on fire. This isn't 
glass. Everything in here is made of solid diamond. You take a closer look at the statue of the man. The detail is incredible. Windswept hair, veins slightly visible on his forearms, even a slightly crooked smile. The rainbows dancing across his diamond skin make it look like he's breathing. His eyes are probably quite lifelike too, but you can't tell. A piece of golden silk is wrapped around his head like a blindfold. There's a crown carved atop his head. He must be a king. In his left hand, he holds some kind of stringed instrument, like a guitar, but much, much older. In his right hand, he holds a gold, jewel-encrusted chalice, which, when you look at the rest of the statue, seems too gaudy to belong. So you reach out and take the chalice from the king's hand. Of course you do. It comes out too easily. It probably wasn't meant to be there in the first place. Maybe you're about to pull the blindfold off, too, but you hesitate. Something about it seems right, even beautiful. Footsteps coming closer, so you look for a place to hide, but everything in the room is made of diamond, which is see-through, meaning hiding is not an option. You try to blow out the torch in your hand, but the flame won't stop burning. The footsteps are getting closer, so please, you might think, please stop burning. Go on, say it. Sherman, say please. Please, please stop burning. The fire goes out. All on its own. Funny how that works. Staring at you from the far doorway is a short, stout man with a smoking pipe in his mouth. A pungent, oily smell wafts in with him. After a moment, he says... Well, this is a surprise. Thought you could sneak in the back way, huh? Go snooping around my storeroom. Cat got your tongue, my friend? Oh, I'm just as shocked to be here as you are shocked that I am here. Uh, you're funny. I almost believe you're telling the truth. Before, so on behalf of all of Alice, that's I-L-U-S, don't get it wrong, let me be the first to welcome you to our golden kingdom of the Diamond Isles. And not, uh, not that diamond is all that fancy. Diamonds are worthless here these days, inflation and all that. Uh, you know, our big old Lion King statue is just a little ornament these days tossed in here with all the rest of this junk. Sherman, you haven't seen a gold chalice rolling around here, have you? Forgot Mr. Blind King here was holding it for me when I left him here. You can feel the rim of the chalice digging into your back through the cloth of your rucksack. Now, Sherman, your choice. Do you give the chalice to Lord Sweetwater or keep it for yourself? I will give it to him. I, yep, uh, hand it right back. Nice to meet you, Sweetwater. I think this is yours. You pull the chalice out of the rucksack and offer it to Lord Sweetwater, saying as much as you just said. He smiles. Nice to meet you, too, Sherman, even if you are a thief, like I suspected. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of, though. I got sticky fingers myself, but thanks. We got some big news today, and it's, well, you could call it the end of an era. And seeing as you've come all this way, I think you ought to join us. We're a bit strapped for company. Come on. It's almost time. Well, who can say no to a good party?
Eventually, you find yourself in an enormous dining hall. At the center of the room stands the tallest woman you've ever seen, covered head to toe in glittering jewels. She turns around and grins wide. She's been crying. A guest! Oh, how delicious! Would have been a travesty to throw a party all on our own. She stands in front of a mountain of things, portrait frames, chandeliers, stockings, decorative armor, tapestries, all stacked on top of one another, much like the collection of diamonds in the storeroom. But these things are different. They're all made of gold. Lady Sweetwater chokes back a tear. She clutches the only thing left in the room that isn't on the pile. It's the severed head of a giant insect, bulging black eyes covered in thick bristles, and, of course, painted in a peeling layer of gold. You like my trophy? Our trophy, dear. It's very rare. They're almost extinct, you know. Immediately, Lady Sweetwater begins crying. It's all his fault! That bastard paladin and his fucking lettuce sack taking over the whole fucking kingdom all because the blind king can't lug himself out of his bed. There's no respect anymore for those of us who made eyeless beautiful. No respect! She collapses to her knees, still sobbing and clutching the Bezos head in her bony hands. It's their fault. I don't know if passing the Lennox Act was stupid or cruel, but it's what they've done. I don't, I don't suppose you've heard it, have you, Sherman? I, I have not heard of this Lennox Act. Lord Sweetwater produces a small, iridescent blue envelope. He opens it and reads the parchment inside. By order of the king, I, his loyal paladin, put forth the Lennox Act. Effective immediately all in this land we call Alice, who serve in devotion or penance to the crown, are to be made free. Until the kingdom rises anew that gives as much as it gets, and gets as much as it gives, material wealth shall be no more than a memory. Here on out there shall be no standard in diamond or gold. The only currency in your pocket shall be the minutes you have left to spend, so spend them wisely. For the time being, we are all at the mercy of our neighbors. For the time being, we are all the masters of ourselves. For those who believe they know how to spend their time best, come to the Citadel. You may appeal to the paladin for an appointment with the king. Should the paladin deem you eligible, you will make your appointment with the king to advise on the rebirth of our regime. Lord Sweetwater speaks again. Well, I bet you're going to try to make an appointment, aren't you? Lady Sweetwater rocks back and forth on her knees. It's all so fucking unfair. We had everything. Money, feasts, guests, servants. We did such good work and they owe us. Everyone owes us. Oh, how I miss our servants. I miss their hands, their downcast eyes. I miss how they used to cry for their mothers when I beat them for being bad. Lord Sweetwater pulls her to her feet and pries the golden Bezoc head from her hands. Come now, love. It's time. Nothing gold can stay. It's time for the party, isn't it, dear? Yes, love. The pile is set ablaze almost immediately, and the sweet waters along with it. As they scream and writhe among the flames, the thick, sour smell of charring flesh invades your nostrils, so you run out of the dining room, through the ballroom pursued by fire, beams creak, glass shatters, the whole building smells of gasoline and smoke, and it's all falling apart. When you emerge outside, you lock the door behind you, just before the grand mansion caves in on itself. 
underneath the cracking and grinding, you can still hear the sweet water screaming. And yet, all you can think of is the citadel. So you turn left, because somehow you know that's the way. And then you're off. Off to see the paladin. Off to make your appointment with the blind king. Thank you. Come back soon for further directions to our location. Let's go back to the main menu. Now, please listen carefully to our main menu. If you know your party's extension, or if you already know what menu option you'd like, you can choose either at any time. Our current options follow. Would you like to hear our hours of operation, make an appointment, explore our policies, receive a promotional offer, review our Receive a promotional offer. Okay. To access your offers, say, I will play by the rules. I will play by the rules. You do remember the rules, don't you, Sherman? I do remember the rules. Your promotional offers follow. Trivia, hangman, or describe and draw. Trivia. You would like to try your hand at trivia, is that correct, Sherman? Correct. You will have 10 seconds to answer each trivia question. You may use whatever means you have at your disposal to answer correctly, but you will only have 10 seconds. Which trivia question would you like to answer? One, birthday. Two, community service. Open mic. Three. Okay. Trivia question seven follows. It's about our founder, Thomas Lennox. Lennox Mutual's documentation contains a recording of Thomas Lennox playing Jim Croce's Time in a Bottle at an open mic night on February 4th, 2022. Where was this open mic night located? Your 10 seconds begins now. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this trivia promotion with a prize of a password hint. To claim your prize, please visit the relevant menu option and provide the answer to this trivia question when prompted. Let's go back to the main menu. Now, please listen carefully to our main menu. Our current options follow. Would you like to hear our hours of operation, make an appointment, explore our policies, receive a promotional offer? The sound you just heard means our time is up, and this session has come to an end. Before you go, do you have time to participate in a quick survey? Yes. Do you feel like you spent your time wisely? Yes. Why? I came in with a plan, and I implemented that plan nigh flawlessly. Mutual, opening the door to your future. Until next time. Do we just spend 19 minutes LARPing? <laughs> well, that was wild. That was nothing like the previous calls at all. Uh, waiter, there's a fantasy LARP inside of my insurance company telephone menu exploration game. Sheesh. All right, so it seems like there's a lot more to directions. Heck, it could even be the main thrust of the content as far as I know. I mean, depending on how far the rabbit hole goes. 
you know, we got a lot of parallels in directions and the cryptic messages in the menu. Stuff like the Blind King and the Lennox Act and you get what you give and give what you get and then mercy of our neighbors and masters of ourselves and all that time business. So there's something going on. I wonder if that information is going to tie together once we get to the Paladin and or the King. And then I knew I only had a minute or two left after that long LARP section. So that's why I went to promotional offers and I used and took that over to the trivia question because that was the answer to the trivia question. And that's how we use that to get the intel. And then I didn't even understand what to do with the reward. What does that mean? I have to look back at the video because it's like a password hint, but a password to what? And what password? Psst. Questions and questions and questions. In conclusion, while I'm sitting here pouring over my tapes, checking and rechecking and decoding the intel and all the riddles and stuff, it's time for you to start your own adventure with Lennox Mutual at the link in the description. Use the Site42 promo code, get a little discount, take some different branching choices, experience something completely different than I did. And I tell you what, it feels a lot different when you're the one on the call making the choices. Woo! That's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.